And now, your reigning and defending MLR champions, the LA Guiltinis! Sorry, this is where my fandom is going to have to come in. <laughs> of course, being born and raised in Los Angeles, I got to rep the home team, the reigning, defending MLR champions, the LA Guiltinis. And what a great start to this franchise. One year in, one championship already. Um, general manager Adam Fryer did it right. Uh, Adam Fryer himself, a former member of the Australian national rugby team, the Wallabies. Uh, he built a franchise and a team that uh, had some amazing veteran players, a lot of young, talented players that just needed some leadership um, and also a winning culture that was established by head coach Darren Coleman, uh, himself a, a former member of the Wallabies. Uh, unfortunately, Coach Coleman is not returning for this season. He is going back to Australia to coach the uh, rugby team, the Waratahs, but assistant coach Stephen Hoyles will be promoted to head coach, and again, I, I feel that winning culture will not change. The winning culture that's already been established will not change with that transition, and you just look on paper with the team, like with the Gilgronis, what the Giltinis have done to add to this team is just amazing. To replace some of, unfortunately, the missing uh, players that we're going to be uh, losing going into 2022, including uh, backup number eight, Pago Haini, who was traded over to the Rugby New York, and then uh, veteran player Adam Ashley Cooper or Swoops, uh, center, former Wallaby member as well, retired. Uh, he was a pivotal part of not only our high-powered offense, but our leadership on and off the pitch. Fortunately, he is going to be coming back as a coach for the Guiltinis, as assistant coach. So not too far from the team, but uh, let's talk about the, the players that are coming in. And, and you know, no offense to Pago and Swoops, I feel these pieces are just as good, if not better, uh, additions to the Guiltinis team that will definitely uh, help the Guiltinis uh, take that next step further <laughs> in the 2022 campaign to defend their championship. Uh, let's start with bringing in Ben Sage, the 25-year-old center, former member of the Toronto Arrows. Uh, he was selected last year as a first-team All-MLR player for the center position, uh, scored five tries for the Toronto Arrows. We're also bringing in Will Chambers, a 13-year veteran Australian rugby player who's played internationally. Uh, he played... Quite a few years for Melbourne, uh, went to Ireland, played for Munster, and then also did a stint in Japan playing for the Suntory Sun Goliaths. Will Chambers is an amazing explosive player in that center winger position, uh, possibly uh, filling in the gap for swoops Adam Ashley Cooper. And of course, we got to talk about Honko Hermeshe, who is coming in in that trade with Pago Haini. Uh, the 25-year-old South African uh, born former member of the American national team will play flanker or number eight while he was with Rooney scored five tries very very talented very tough player uh, will definitely be a great addition to that scrum uh, and then again you just you just look at the team it's practically the same team coming back that won that that first championship in 2021 let's start with the re-signing of the skipper, Dave Dennis, coming back. A uh, former Wallabies member himself plays at the lock position. A pivotal part of what made the set piece, the lineouts for the Guiltini such a success and a dangerous weapon. Uh, Dave Dennis is coming back. He was voted by the players of the LA Guiltinis as player of the year for 2021. Uh, we're also bringing back Harrison Goddard, a very young, talented fullback. Uh, Australian rugby player, scored nine tries for the Giltinis and was was a master in just directing the ball, directing the backs and where to be. Uh, a great player, scored one of the most amazing tries. If you look it up on YouTube, I feel it was try of the year uh, for the Giltinis. Harrison Goddard, great to have him back on the team. Of course, we have our explosive offensive weapons with the wingers and center positions. We have DTH Vandermeer coming back, a Canadian player, 
still to this day is the top point scorer for the Canadian national team. Uh, he led. He was tied with the most tries in MLR for 2021 with 11. Just a wonderful player to watch. Explosive, charismatic. Uh, Billy Meeks is coming back. He was voted back of the year for Major League Rugby last year. Also get, got the Team Spirit Award for the Guillotinis. Uh, a Australian rugby player himself. An amazing, amazing player in the center position. Um, also maybe flanker. We'll see. Uh, that's a kind of an inside joke with the team. Uh, he has been practicing and he actually played that position uh, during last season. Also, Billy Meeks uh, runs a pretty good Instagram and YouTube channel. So, so check out uh, Billy Meeks on the Instagram. And then uh, Johnny Ryberg, uh, very talented winger. He's called the, the quadricep with eyes. Um, such a big, strong, fast player. Led the t uh, Also um, scored seven tries. He is now tied for the most tries scored all time. In Major League Rugby. Uh, he's been playing for them since year number one. An amazing player, an explosive player to watch on the pitch. Also, the Guillotinis announced that they brought back a lot of their younger players. Luke Carty, the uh, young Irish uh, scrum half, I'm sorry, the young Irish fly half, uh, younger brother to Jack Carty, who's a member of the Connacht rugby team. Uh, an amazing player. He was just capped for the Eagles last year. And Ryan James, another young, explosive player, winger. Uh, he was capped last year for the very first time for the American national team. A young winger. Um, again, just, just fun to watch. Uh, very powerful weapon. And uh, Christian Rodriguez also coming back. A utility back. Born and raised in L.A., um, usually has the most fans at the Coliseum where the where the LA Guillotinis plays. But again, a great young talent. Those three players, I feel, future franchise players for the LA Guillotinis, pivotal members, uh, important additions to the bench. The only questionable uh, parts of the Guillotinis team, uh, don't know quite the status yet of Angus Cottrell, uh, the flanker for the Guillotinis, former captain in Super Rugby, playing for Australia, the top try scorer of 2021, unknown whether or not he's coming back. Hopefully he will. A uh, very, very important part of not only the uh, Guiltini scrum, but the offense. And of course, Matt Gitto, uh, another veteran Australian rugby player, a great, great uh, fly half, uh, scored a bunch of points, a bunch of points for... The LA Guillotinis. Don't know if he's coming back. Word is he's still kind of on the fence, but hopefully he'll be back to uh, play for the Guillotinis to add uh, possibly another championship to the cupboards. Um, again, looking into this team, um, loaded with talent, a lot of talent coming back, a lot of talent coming in. Um, it'll be very interesting to see what the status is with Gitto and Cottrell. If they come back, I, I think it's almost would be a shame if the Guillotinis don't at least make the championship game for a second year in a row. But with teams like the Gilgronis, we haven't even talked about the Eastern Conference yet where there are a couple teams that will definitely be, be very, very dangerous to play. But I feel if you're an LA team, if you're, I mean, if you're an LA fan... The Guiltinis are looking very good for year number two in the MLR. Another quick update video. Again, the fluidity of following a league sport like rugby. Uh, things do change on the daily. Uh, instead of making a new video, just wanted to add this to the Guiltinis video. A really great update if you're a huge uh, Guiltinis fan and if you're a fan of Sevens Rugby. The Guiltinis just announced the acquisition of Captain Tom Mitchell, a former England Sevens captain, uh, an amazing player, 32 years old. He has he has played for the England Sevens team for 10 years, uh, has scored 135 tries, uh, has 1,593 points. That makes him the fifth all-time scorer 
in the HSBC World Sevens Rugby Series. Uh, an amazing, strong, fast player, a, ma a lot of great leadership. He's also a two-time Olympian with the uh, Great Britain team, a silver medalist in the Rio Olympics in 2016. Uh, he will be coming in late. He just recently had surgery on a ruptured hamstring that he suffered in the Tokyo Olympics. Um, that he, uh, he had the surgery in November, so he's still recovering from that. Uh, so the Guillotini's announced he will probably be a late addition. He'll probably be playing fullback, um, which is great because with the announcement of Glenn Bryce retiring from the from rugby play with the MLR, uh, and Luke Burton will probably be starting at the fullback position. This adds a lot of depth, a lot of much needed depth, as well as leadership. Tom Mitchell, again, an amazing player uh, to have as part of the Guillotini's. He hasn't played. He admits in an interview he hasn't played 15s in in quite a while but uh, again there's been a lot of sevens players at being added into mlr um danny barrett with uh houston uh, martin iosefa with uh seattle so again tom mitchell being added in i think he will will fit in quite well with the la guillotines also a quick update the uh, Angus Cottrell, the highest score and try score of the 2021 season. Granted, the LA Guillotinis have not officially announced his return to the squad, but if you watch social media, and you should if you're a Guillotinis fan, uh, follow the Guilti LA Guillotinis on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter, you will see Angus Cottrell around in some of the videos, so I'm pretty sure he'll be coming back to the team, which again is great. Uh, he was the lead try scorer for the LA Guillotinis in 2021, played at the flanker position, a, an amazing, amazing, talented player. Um, great to have him come back to the squad. And again, with the addition of Tom Mitchell, I feel the LA Guillotinis have a great shot at repeating as MLR champions in the 2022 season.